every day on Earth, there are over 200,000 more people to feed. There are increasing and competing pressures for land and water resources. Carbon emissions continue to rise. Some experts say we're only one poor harvest away from a global food crisis. Food is an urgent issue of our time, how we produce it, eat it and transport it. At the same time, we're an increasingly urban society. By the end of the century, four out of five people will live in a city. It is in cities that the food crisis must be tackled and solved. Manchester International Festival will be working with the local community to create a new urban food experiment in an area of Manchester, England, called Withenshaw. We want to create a vertical farm using smart technologies such as aquaponics and hydroponics. We want to harvest light and conserve energy. We will retrofit a disused office block called Alpha House. We will turn it into Alpha Farm. So food has an environmental impact that is huge. About a fifth of our carbon emissions, our personal carbon emissions, are down to food. So the way we shop, what we eat, is, is crucial if we want a low carbon economy. Projects like this can contribute by closing the loop, looking at problems and solutions, looking at resources, looking at waste, and bringing them all to one place. The way that we consume our food is probably one of, the, one of the blind spots. Everything just turns up on a shelf, you go to the supermarket, it's there on the shelf, you buy it, you take it away. Quite a lot of people don't turn it around and go, good grief, did that, where, is that where that came from? If you were growing things like herbs um, and, and leafy salads here in Withenshaw and you had a market for them that was only two miles away, then the, the nutritional value you get from that food is going to be much, much better than if it's been flown in from Cyprus, for instance. The idea of a vertical farm is, well, as it says really, try and save the horizontal space and try and use space vertically, uh, primarily as a means of getting food grown more locally in cities. Uh, there is quite a lot of scepticism about the idea. So I think the other bit about that's really interesting about it is the idea that we can engage people in where their food comes from because they'll be able to see it over there growing. This is a fairly generic disused office building. If we want to find ways of not wasting all of the energy that went in to create the building in the first place and find new uses for it, then this is a perfect place to start. From a, a modern building point of view, it's a bit of a basket case, single glazed, no insulation anywhere at all. So it's a good one to see if we can make it work here, we'll be able to make it work anywhere. In terms of the technologies um, for, for food growing in, in the vertical farm, there are three main ones. We've got um, aeroponics, which is where you mist uh, the roots of the plant with some nutrients and they grow, taking up the, the, the nutrients. Then you have um, hydroponics, you feed the plants nutrients but in a water solution. Uh, and then aquaponics and that you, you basically have fish in water and the, uh, the activity of the fish basically provide nutrients for uh, leafy vegetables so the fish can be harvested and also the food gets harvested. In an ideal world what there'll be is there'll be some herbs growing that can be sold to make some money. There'll be fresh green leaf vegetables with the really fresh pepperiness of a freshly grown rocket leaf and something like that. There'll also be some protein, some carbs, if we can work out how to grow them to show that actually urban farming doesn't just have to generate the small amounts of food. But we don't know if that bit will work yet. And it will also do so using less energy than it would have done to have grown it in a field miles away, shipped it off to distribution depot and brought it back again. This vertical farm project is fantastic. It takes the resources and expertise of a local community and uses it in a way that brings benefit to that community. It's a very exciting chance for Manchester to say, look, you can do this, but we need to do it within a cultural environment first because a bunch of scientists in a corner doing it wouldn't be noticed. The idea that we can nestle this into as high a profile cultural festival as the international festival here gives us a great opportunity to start that debate and then hopefully make it go out from there so that we really hit the ground hard with, with lots of ideas, lots of people coming and helping us out, engaging people, people start to grow their own food in their back gardens and this will then become a hub for how that works. Alpha Farm is our small contribution to a major global challenge. It will produce food for the people of Withenshaw and will be created with the people of Withenshaw. But the lessons we learn will be shared with the world.